All right, guys, I'm trying this again. See if this is gonna work. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's just not been my night. So we'll see if I can get this to work. Hold on. I should have scheduled, uh, set this up better. All right. Ah. All right, can you guys see this at all? No, it's still that way. Hmm. All right, well, I'm just gonna, now it's flipped that way. Ugh. Is it backwards to you guys? It looks upside down to me. Oh my word. Let me see guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Oh, okay, that looks good. All right. Oh my word. Am I sideways? Ah! All right guys, we're gonna give this a shot. I'm so sorry. Hopefully it will look right. Am I good? Am I not good? Am I, I don't know. All right, let me um, switch this up. Okay. All right, sorry guys. This just does not want to cooperate. Okay, it's working and I'm good, all right? Hopefully, anyway, we'll see. Yeah. All right. Whew, well, that was a mess. I don't know why my Mevo did not want to work, but didn't want to work. It said it wouldn't work. So what I'm going to do is I am making this um, fish. Can you see this? I don't know. It's all wacko now. Okay, there it is. Hey, Pat. So hopefully this will work. I'm making this fun little fish. That's cute. I can't, I don't know where the camera is. <laughs> So I'm making that with the little fishing pole. I don't know if you guys can see that. I can't tell where you guys are. All right. So this might be a fiasco. So hopefully, hopefully this will work out well. All right. So I have that. I have this. And I have, I love, love, love. Hello. Can see great. Okay, good. Hey, Janet. I have this fabric mesh, which I love. Oh my gosh. I'm in love with this mesh. So I'm going to, um, yes, yeah, a fish. So I'm going to do the ruffle method. And um, I put my pipe cleaners on like I did for that pancake wreath the other night. So I'm going to try that one again. So I'm just going to ruffle up the middle. So hopefully you guys can see this because this is crazy. But let me try and um, get it on here too so I can see it better. Because you guys, I can't tell what I'm doing here. <laughs> So I apologize. So hopefully <laughs> this will work out okay. Hey Janice, how are you? So I'm just gonna do it the ruffle method, right? The regular method. I'm gonna put it in here on the bottom first. And I'm gonna put it in. Um, no, it was not from Sim. I think I got that at Craft Outlet last year. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to try this ruffle method again with this and see how, or the um, pancake method and see how we like it again. Hello, Roxanne. I know, I literally like, I started it on the Mevo. It said it wouldn't start. And I thought, okay, I'll do it on my phone. Then my phone did, oh, sorry guys. So anyway, it's Monday. How are you guys doing today? Did you guys have a good weekend? Hey, Diane. Hey, Stephanie, I did. I cut these at 20 inches and I'm just ruffling them up. I cut them. Yep, I cut them. I did not burn them. Hey, Teresa, how are you? Again, I apologize for all the mess, but what are you going to do? So hopefully my bot is working. What I figured was, hey Dora, my bot did not want to work on, or my Mevo wasn't working on my, when I scheduled those posts. Hey Bev. So my bot wasn't working on them. It's the short size, right? 
Oh boy. So, um, the bot wasn't working. So, oh, hey, Sa Sandra from the UK. Welcome, welcome. So my bot wasn't working on the last two lies because it wasn't running off the scheduled post. So hopefully Mevo will get that all figured out because it's driving me crazy. I don't know what's going on with it. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. And I might have to put a, come back and put another one in here. We'll see um, when I get it all done. Hey, Mary, how are you? So we shall see. But I love this fabric mesh. I really like the feel of it. Hey, Barbara, how are you? I like the look of it. Um, I don't know. I just really like it. So I wanted to try this on that method. I know. You know why, Teresa? Because my bot, I don't know what's going on with me but, or with, um, with my um, mini chat. It would not fire. And I even went and made it go manual it wouldn't go i don't know i don't know today today apparently is not my day technology wise so i apologize for that and i even tried to send it like two times oh four weeks old well that'll keep you going uh oh thanks hi kathy i don't know i can't i don't know where my thing is here so yeah, but so I don't know you guys. So back to the old way where I used to do it on my phone and you know, hey Ann, how are you? Hey Lorraine. So Lord knows this could be a hot mess. Yes, 10 inch mesh cut to 20 inches and it's the fabric mesh, which I love. I um, got this from Craft Outlet. This was in that box that I opened up last week and I just love this mesh. So I may have to add another one in there, but we'll see. It's just one of those days. I don't know. So how was everyone's weekend this weekend? It rained all day yesterday. Hey, Sherry from Indiana. Welcome. So hopefully this time, if you are new to my page and want an alert and you type live, you will get a message. So if someone can, um, thank you, Teresa. Yes, if you would bless my page, I would greatly appreciate it. Because I couldn't send out this stupid mini chat. I don't know, you guys. I'm about to, ready to throw mini chat out the, out the window. Hey, Linda from South Carolina. How are you doing today? Yes, yeah, see if you get a message, um, Teresa. I don't know. It could be working. It could not be working. Who knows what it feels like doing. So hopefully you will get a message. So I'm just doing... Um, oh, yeah. Thank you for blessing me. I just cut it with a rotary cutter. Yep, I just used my rotary cutter. We'll see. I don't know. I think I might have to add another one in there. So let me, I don't know. I just think it looks very thin. Hey, for Maxine. Um, right now, is it, it's 7.17 p.m. Yeah, so I'm going to have to cut a couple more pieces of the mesh, too. All right, I just think it looks too thin and I don't like it to look that way. So I'm gonna add some more pieces. I know, I never, I get the, the time thing all messed up too. So hopefully people will know I'm usually on Monday nights if they don't get an alert because I, hey Maggie, how are you? I don't know that it even worked. So you'll have to let me know if you get a message, Teresa, and see if that even worked or not. I don't know. Hey, Darlene, good evening. How are you? Oh, okay. I'm kind of doing the pancake, but I'm adding another ruffle in between on the bottom because I think it kind of looked um, a little thin. 
So I'm, no, not yet. Oh, I'm really beginning to hate this. Okay. Oh. All right. Try it now, Teresa. Do it again. Because I think, I don't know. I think I was flustered. Maybe it just, just didn't go out. So try it again. This is a 14 inch wreath frame. Let me just put these on and I'll go back. You got a message? Oh, good. Thanks, Teresa. Oh, thank you. You received both. Okay, I don't know. I, it, my mini chat just it didn't want to. The messages didn't want to go, and then. Um... <laughs> Sorry, Fran. I know this. This it was crazy. I was like, oh no, what am I gonna do? Oh, good, Teresa. Okay, so now it's working. All right. Thank you for doing that, Teresa. So now, hey, Wilhelmina, how are you? The pancake method is you um, take a ruffle and you um, do it the, you know, the normal way that you do a ruffle. Okay, so you want to ruffle up the middle. Now, I'm adding extra ones in here because this looked a little thin because of the fabric mesh is a little more see-through. But normally it's um, Sincerely Creative is her page. She um, designed it. Hey, Sharon. <laughs> Thanks, Teresa, no problem. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah, so um, you were notified an hour ago. See, I don't know. I really, I don't know what's going on with this. So I apologize, you guys. Hopefully by Thursday, it will be all taken care of. So did you just put more layers on, Stephanie? Is that what you did? I'm just kind of doing it a little differently. I don't know. Now I'm all whacked out. I'm all whacked out, you guys. So it's probably going to be a little thicker because I'm not um, doing it correctly. So it's kind of the pancake. Oh, the bot's working. Yay! I know, and you get flustered because it's like, oh my gosh, this is supposed to, I'm supposed to be on, and I don't want to, you know, make people wait, and ay 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 ay. But I did send out a scheduled post because I thought that way, hopefully, at least you'll get that. And that I did send out an hour ago, Maggie, so maybe that's what it was. But um, for some reason, mini chat is, or my Mevo is not working with that. So I don't know what's going on with the Mevo. I'll have to check it out and see what, if I can figure out what's going on with it. So anyway, hey Peggy, how are you? Oh, I know. That's a great idea, Darlene. Absolutely. So again, I apologize for all this. It just asked you if you wanted to see lives. Yeah, when I do my ruffles normally, like the normal way I used to do them, not the pancake method, I would do 12 on the bottom and 6 on the top. Um, it's going to make it a little thicker, but that's okay. We'll just go with it. It's just that kind of day, you guys. We're just rolling with it. Okay, good. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Maggie. Yeah, and I realized then that the bot wasn't working for the last two lies because it wasn't going through the scheduled post. And, you know, it's just all these fun stuff. Hey, Cheryl. Hey, Annette. How are you? Make sure if I put that in there. Okay. From Montgomery, Alabama. How are you? Today was a beautiful day. I don't know about you guys where you were, but today was abs absolutely beautiful here. I mean, I was at work, but that's okay. Still a beautiful day. Yeah, it does, right? It turns out a lot... Um, the strips for the for the um, pancake method are 20 inches. So like I said, this one's probably going to be a little thicker since I'm using adding more, but that's okay. And you got one just now? 
Oh my goodness. I'm telling you, I don't know what's going on with that um, mini chat, but hopefully we'll get it figured out. Oh, that sounds good, Darlene. So hopefully you guys can see me. I'm just, let me recap. I'm just, I just took, um, yeah, they're not playing well. They are not, that's for sure, Well, I mean, because um, it, it is not cooperating with me today. Hey, Tina, how are you? It's definitely not cooperating for me. Oh, okay. Hey, Susie, how are you? How are you doing? Um, Sandra, if you type live, or I'm thinking, I don't know, I changed a setting. So if you type anything, you should get a message from my bot. And hopefully, um, oh my goodness, Bev, that's terrible. Hey, Jackie, you should get a message from my bot, and then you should just be able to click on the button that says get live alert, and then you should get an alert each time I go live. I say should because Lord knows mini chat has not been my friend lately. But also make sure, if you look at this live, there's three little dots up on the top right hand corner click on those dots and that's notifications and make sure you have that turned on for my page because sometimes if mini chat doesn't work you will get um you will get an alert that way maybe linda i don't know this mesh came from craft outlet it's the fabric mesh you just got a message through Messenger. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's not playing nice today. <laughs> Hi, Diane. Welcome. I'm glad you found me. Okay, so since I put the 12 on the bottom, I am going to have to cut more. I'm doing 20-inch ruffles. And I'm going to cut some more because um, you never get notified. <sighs> I apologize, you guys. I don't know what's going on lately. It always comes from Messenger. Yeah, it should. All right, so I'm going to use my wonderful mesh roller from Susie. And if you guys do not have one of these and you make wreaths, you are missing out because I cannot make a wreath without this puppy so i don't know if you can see it probably not i'm going to feed it under that to get it to cut and then i'm going to get out my oh no this is 10 inch mesh and i'm going to cut it to 20 inches so let's see one and when you cut your mesh to 20 inches you should get 18 pieces out of it. The mesh is 10 inches wide. So hopefully we will get two more pieces out of this. Let me see, three. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's good. Um, really, I shop all over. Um, I shop at Craft Outlet. I shop at the Deco Exchange. I shop at wholesale places if I can. Um, so, all over. But if you don't have like a, a tax ID number, if you're just doing this as a hobby, then Craft Outlet. Hey, Carm, how are you? Craft Outlet, um, the Wreath Shop. Any of those places would be great to find your supplies. Okay, so now we did it on the outer ring. Yeah, I don't this. I don't think it's working. I really don't. I'm gonna have to really look into it. I apologize, you guys. Let me cut this edge here. That's okay. So I cut these. Hey, Melissa, how are you? I cut these to 20 inches. Now this one is. It's like a. Um, 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 a moss green, like a moss green and a cream. You were just watching the other lady? Oh, wait till you see the ribbon. I love this ribbon. 
I'll just show it to you. So it's 10 inch mesh that I cut to 20 inches. Hey, Angie. Oh, really? I, you know what? I don't sew much, really much at all. But when I bought one, I think I got one at Walmart. It was less than a hundred bucks. I mean, it's not the best one, but um, I'm sure you could, Jackie. Yeah, I'm sure you could do that. No, I didn't see that until later about the general wholesale. Yeah, so this is going to turn out a little thicker, but it's still not going to be real thick. So that's okay. We're going to go with it. Look for an old... This is fabric mesh. I love the fabric mesh. I like the feel of it. Now, it's a little more expensive, um, but I really like the fabric mesh. You think it's still valid? Deb. Well, I'm glad you found me. It doesn't cut with a wood burner. Um, Kathy, it's the way that it sets. Now, because I'm doing this, because I added some, it's not laying as flat as when um, Melly Mel does it. Melly Mel is the inventor of the pancake wreath. What did I do with that wreath? And it's usually very thin. And what she does is she cuts it to 20 inches and then she overlaps it and tucks it under. So it's flatter. Okay? So when it's flat like that, you see how thin it is? On a regular ruffle wreath, which I don't think I have one in here right uh, close, um, it's, it might sit up a little more. Yeah, this doesn't, this doesn't um, fray bad. So, yeah, once you cut it, it's usually fine. The mesh, this came from Craft Outlet. Singer still makes the best. I think I just got mine at Walmart, but like I said, I don't sew much, like hardly in any... Wow, 45 years. That's amazing. Okay, so I'm just going to lay it in there. Yeah, this isn't... I'm not really doing her um, pancake method justice tonight. And I apologize for that, Melly Mel, if you're watching. So what she does is she overlaps the edges, right? And then she kind of tries to turn everything under so that it lays flatter. I know I do too. I really like the fabric mesh. Um, if you want the number, it is XB98510-07. From Craft Outlet. Oh, there you go. You have no wholesale craft places. Well, a lot of them are online. Oh, thank you, Stephanie. Yeah, I think it's probably a little thicker because I'm doing a little more, but that's okay. I think it will still be thinner than a normal because a lot of times if you ruffle it and put the ruffles face up like this, it's going to be higher. Oh, no. All right. So, just about done here. I think we have two more to go. Yeah, you don't need a tax ID at General Wholesale, correct. But it's Sims Pottery and where else? I'm trying to think where else you can buy that you get wholesale pricing. Yeah, I just really like the look of the fabric mesh. So again, I'm not doing it justice, Melly Mel, if you're watching, I apologize. <laughs> but it'll be at least a little thinner, so. So that's okay. 
Oh, did you like the fabric mesh? I really like the fabric mesh. I just like the feel of it. I like the look of it. Um, I don't know. I think I just, I like it. Yeah, Sims Pottery, yeah, Sims Pottery, you need a tax ID number, yes. Yeah, I, you know, I got, I had, I got that um, fish last week I showed you guys, the um, cloth one, and I was going to use that, and then I was going through my one drawer, and I found this other fish. I had forgotten I had ordered this last year. So I was like, that would be, no, Carolina Potter, you don't need a tax ID. That's just a regular retail store. So I found that fish, and I'm like, oh, that would be perfect with the fishing rod. Um, I do sell some ribbon. I don't have a ton of it right now, but there is some in my shop. Okay, so one more, I believe. Hey, Ramona from Arizona. How are you? I apologize for this video because my Mevo was not working, so it's not the quality that I usually do, but it'll get the job done. So again, this is just 10-inch mesh that I'm doing the ruffle method. You know what? I don't think the only place I've ever seen some fabric mesh was at, um, at um, Joann's, and they don't always have it. But other than Joann's, I don't think I've ever seen it at like AC Moore or Michael's or any of those. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. Appreciate that. Okay, so that's the last ruffle. Okay. All right. Hello, Kelly. How are you? So let me show you guys the ribbon. So I got this fish ribbon. Oh, Old Time Pottery does have it? Cool. All right, so I have the fish ribbon. And I have this like mossy green ribbon. Hey, Linda, how are you? Hope you guys can see that. And then I have craft out. Yes, that's where I got it. Hey, Jane, welcome. And then I have this one. It's a little brighter. So um, I'm not sure if I'm going to use this one or not, but I thought it kind of has the different colors on it. So I was thinking about using that. And I had this but I didn't really like the green on it. And then I also had this that I was thinking of using, but I'm not sure. So we're just gonna see what we like. Cause I really liked that brown and the green with that, but I don't know. Okay, so let's try these three and see how we like it. Okay, and I'm only putting it in six on the top and six on the bottom. Hey, Tanya, how are you? Yeah, I like it too, so I don't know. We'll see. So let's go with this, that green stripe ribbon in blue. This one? I'll have to look and see. Okay, so I'm going to take it and pull it in half. Hey, Pat, how are you? Now you want to make sure, I think I'm going to put the two and a half on top because that's my main ribbon. You want to make sure that the fish are all swimming the same way. Okay, so when you put it on, you kind of want it to make sure that your ribbon is going to like your fish ribbon like that so that it's not looking like it's you know one up and one down so let's try this and see how we like it i don't know we'll see how it goes Let's try it and just see, see if we like it, because maybe we can um, alternate. Yeah, you want to make sure so it all, they all swim the same way. 
Okay, so I'm going to put this one on and we'll see how we like this. Just see how we like it. Um, trying to think, Kat, Jackie. Let me see if I have it in the blue or not. No, I don't. Okay, let's see this one, see if we like this one. Oh my, I'd have to go back and look, Mary. Let me go back and look. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. All right, what do you guys think? Do you like the alternating or do you like just this combination or this combination? Hmm. Let me see something else too. Let me see if I do this and this. Was it the poly burlap or was it the um, plain burlap hat? Last one, last one, first one. The first combo, the green stripe, the last one. <laughs> we have differing opinions. Hey, Judy, how are you? The last one. Let's try this. First combo. Where did I put that? Oh, there it is. Right, let's try this. A solid. All right, let me try something here. Oh my goodness. I cannot get it together today. <laughs> cannot get it together today. Okay, let's try this. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Yeah, I'll lay the I'll lay the um thing on it. Oh, no problem, Cheryl. Okay, so where's the fish at? See, with the fish, the fish kind of has a little brown on it. Can you see that? So maybe what I was thinking. Let me do this. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Cut too many at one time. The one with the brown. You guys like the one with the brown. All right, let's try this. I think I got that from Craft Outlet last year, Darlene. Okay, so I wonder if I do that with this. Let me see. Oh, there it is. Okay, <laughs> cut it. It was hiding from me. All right, so I wonder if I do those two together and then maybe these two. I don't know. Let's give it a shot. If we like two or if we like three. Okay. So I do have a fishing pole. See? So what I'm going to do is like kind of put the fishing pole here and the fish kind of like this with the little hook in its mouth. That's what I'm thinking of doing. <laughs> I think I kind of
kind of like the two. All right, let's try that. I think I like the um, alternating, so that's what I'm going to do. Less, yeah, so I think I'm going to do that. That's what I'm going to do. Make sure I have the fish swimming the right way. Now make sure too when you do this combination that you put um, like if the light browns on the top and the dark browns on the bottom that you um, do it the same way on each one. Hey Jerry Lynn, how are you? Which I guess it really wouldn't matter much, but that's okay. All right. The last stripe, this one with the fish ribbon. I kind of like the bright colors of that one to make it pop a little bit. Okay. And this guy's going on. Hey, Bridget, how are you? So we shall see, we shall see how it's coming out. I like it. Okay. All right. We have our fish with the moss green. Hey, Kathy. Thank you, Sherry. Again, you want to make sure your fish are all swimming the right way. I'm going to add it to the bottom row now. Hey, Muriel. Good to see you, too. Well, I don't really see you, but I'm glad you're here. And then I also have something that I might add. Thank you for sharing. So I kind of want to wait and see if I'm going to add that or not. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very much appreciated. Thank you. Sharing is caring. Hoping you guys can see enough with this, but thank you. I like this color combination. I'm liking it, liking it, liking it. Whoops. <clears throat> I think it's going to be very cute. Oh, and then I got some new signs I wanted to show you guys. They just came in today. Um, I haven't even had... Hello, Sharon from Nova Scotia. Welcome. I haven't even had time to put them all in my shop yet, but I wanted to show you guys what came in. Again, these are cut to 12 inches. And then I just fold them in half and place them in six of the twist top of the pipe cleaners on the top and six on the bottom. Mother's Day is coming up. How's is everyone ready for Mother's Day? What are you guys doing? 
my daughter called today. I'm going to go over to her house and spend the day with her and the kids after church and my son and daughter-in-law and kids are coming. Thanks, Carolyn. Okay. okay, this is the last ribbon. I know I could cut too much of this because I was going to do the 12, but that's okay. Save it for the next wreath. Thanks, Stephanie. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, my mom is in heaven, and my mother-in-law has Alzheimer's, so my husband's um, going to Pittsburgh to see her. All right, so I have that. Now, see, I had this other um, fish that I had that I had gotten. Oh, she is okay. But I kind of changed my mind and wanted to go with um, this one, the other one for tonight. So I'm, I have another, I can do this for another one. All right, so now what I was also considering doing, because you know there's kind of like seaweed in um, the ocean. So I was kind of thinking maybe to add some like little grass. But we're going to see if that's going to work or not. So let's cut some of this because I was thinking of trying this. So let's see. All right. Oh, let me get this out. Okay. So, like I said, what I was thinking about doing was putting the fishing pole kind of like catty cornered like this. And then having the thing in its mouth, right? Because you want to keep it in its mouth. <laughs> yeah. Okay, kind of maybe get it caught up in there. Let's see. Hey, Kathy, how are you? So see if I kind of put it in its mouth. Maybe I'll glue it in there. Turn your fish over like that. Okay, and then let's see here. Maybe if I can get it down here. I think I'm going to cut this string a little shorter. But that's what I was thinking of doing. So I was thinking of maybe adding some um, seaweed in it. But I don't know. Let's see how this works out. So you think that the fish should go like this. Kind of down here, maybe. Okay. All right. We are going to, whoops. All right, before I put a hole in it, uh, maybe I should put this on here since it's like that. Yeah, isn't it? I thought it was a cute idea. All right, since it's kind of twisting that way. All right, so what I'm going to do see if this is going to work. Oh, okay. So I'm going to get my little, um, whew, hope this works, hole punch here. And I'm going to put it right through there. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is get a pipe cleaner. And get my glue going inside of that. And let's see if I can shove this down in there. Yes. Perfect. Okay. So kind of like this, like this. Let's see how we're going to make them sit. All right. Okay, let's see if we can kind of get him on here. All 
Um, I didn't really try work this out like how I was going to do it, but we're just going to go for it. It kind of looks like he's sitting there. So let's just try this and see if this works. I know, right? Operation. And then maybe like this, see if I can get it to sit like that maybe. And then I'll probably have to add something to his tail here. But let's just see how this is going to work. All right, and then put the fishing pole. That's why I said I think I'm going to have to cut the line shorter. Like that. Let's get that out of there. Or I can fix that later. But what do you guys think about the kind of seaweed coming out here on his left side? Like that? Kind of like that? I'm trying to decide if I want to add this little, like, you know, how there's seaweed in the ocean. Oh, thanks, Jamie. I know this is kind of long. I have some shorter stuff, too, that I can add. But I thought, let me just try it and see what it looks like. You know, add a couple here and there. Now, I'm just putting these in. The tail curves up like that. Okay. Um, let me see how I like this. I'm just placing it in. Um, for now, I'm not going to glue it in or anything until I make sure I like it. But I kind of thought it looks like seaweed, right? You know? Let's see. Kind of look like, you know, down in the ocean, there's seaweed in the ocean. I don't know, we'll see. This might be too long, but... Or maybe we just put it kind of down the bottom. I don't know. And like I said, I'm just placing this in here for now, and then if I decide we want to use it, we'll um, add some more. kind of like it with the seaweed, kind of making it, you know, kind of look like he's down at the bottom of the ocean, right? And I have this, too, that it's a little smaller. I wasn't sure if I should try and use that, but yeah. So I'm going to add some to there. I know I love this. I mean, and I can cut it too, I think, to make it shorter. I don't want it that long. Cut it down a little bit. <clears throat> oh, I think that's cute. I think I'm going to use it. Okay. See how I'm going to do it now. Oh, there you go. Perfect. All right, so let me put the net in, or the um, thing in, and then we'll add this grass, because maybe we can add it smaller or shorter or something. It's a freshwater fish. I don't know what it is. It's just a fish. Okay, so I'm going to kind of maybe make it like that. You're agreeing with Jackie. Okay, so we're going to add 
this on there to the fishing rod to make it stay in place. Oh. Hmm. I think it needs to be on this side because of that. Oh, well. We're going to add it here. I know, because I don't know anything about fishing. All right, so I'm just going to wrap this around the fishing pole. And then I'm going to just attach this. The fishing pole is, from top to bottom, it's 20 inches. It's pretty big. Okay, and then I'm just going to feed this through the mesh. Yeah, the fishing pole is pretty big. At least I think it is. All right. Okay, I'm gonna tie that on there. I don't know anything about fish, you guys. <laughs> I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you what it is. I don't know. It's just a fish to me. Okay, so we got the fishing pole. And I kind of want to secure it up here a little bit. I'm going to wrap this around here. Yeah, I know nothing about fish, you guys. And then secure this through there. kind of want that sticking up a little bit so I'm not going to pull it real tight okay good tip yeah so I like that grass that I'm gonna add then right okay add that there okay so that's nice and secure that's not going anywhere So, do we like the position of the fish? All right, so I need to cut that a little bit, and I think I'm going to... Yeah, I know nothing about fish. Nothing, I will be the first to admit it. I know nothing. All right, I'm just going to cut that off and make it shorter. So that the line is kind of, you know, kind of tight there. I think that works. Yeah, I don't know anything. All I know is it's a fish. <laughs> okay. Maybe a little shorter. That's perfect. I know, Trixie, my mini chat was not working. I apologize. I don't know what the heck's going on with it tonight. I am so frustrated with it, Trixie. I want to scream. Okay. So, I kind of like, you maybe kind of bend it a little bit to make sure. So, then I think I'll like hot glue that into his mouth like that. All right. We are getting there. So do you like the position of the fish like that? I think I'm going to just put a little dab of hot glue on there. And hopefully not burn my fingers. Okay, there we go. All right, woohoo, okay. So we're going to lock him into place there. I have this puppy twisted on there good. Oh, I know, I know, I'm definitely not a fisherman. Okay, so I just want to get that on there good. Kind of get him on the side like that. Let's 
It's got some seaweed there. Kind of look like he's fishing coming out of there. Yeah. Hopefully they will. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of it there too, kind of in front of him. Mm, I don't like that one. Okay, we'll put this here. I did add a little glue to that and then I'm just going to wrap it around um, I can give you that hold on and I'll get that for you the mesh was XB 985-10-07 so it was XB98510-07. Okay. And then I think what I might do is add something to that too to kind of... Hey, Terry. under him. Okay. No problem, Cheryl. it in down into that mesh I'm just kind of feeding it through the mesh with the wire hey Harless how are you I know I apologize my uh, mini chat did not want to work today so didn't want to send out the messages. Okay. Add a little bit down here. Yeah, mini chat was not my friend today. So what I decided to do was take some of this wire and wrap it around a couple of these pieces. And then I think I'm just going to like feed it through the mesh and then tie it to the frame. And kind of get it kind of where I want it. And then kind of tie that twist tie around it a little bit so that it doesn't go anywhere, kind of give it a little extra oomph there. And then fix that ribbon. And you can kind of bend these. Oh, I love it, look at that. I don't know if I want to add too much of this. Maybe just on the side where the fish is. Oh no, I'm frozen. Okay. Maybe 
a couple down here. Get one with the red on it. I know, it's turning out really cute. I really like it. Okay, so I'm just taking the wire and I'm wrapping it around that couple of pieces there. All right, so those three are gonna kind of be wound together and then you can kind of move them around. And then I'm going to stick the wire into down into the mesh and I'm going to attach it to the wire frame. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking I don't want the, um, um, it came from Craft Outlet. Yep, I got it at Craft Outlet. Now the fish I think I got last year, Trixie, but the fishing pole I just got. I got it like a couple days ago. Push that underneath there. <clears throat> okay, maybe I'll put a little bit more up here, but I don't think I want this everywhere. I'm not sure yet. I know, isn't that the way it always goes though, Trixie? You know, you order something and then you see something else and we're like, oh, I really wanted that. Okay. At least that's how I always do it, you know? All right, so I'm just taking this really thin wire and wrapping it around here real good to hold that into place. Yeah, you could. I also had this that I was considering putting on, but I think it might be too much. I don't know. We'll see. This is what custom is about. Oh, thank you, Harless. I appreciate that. Yeah, you know, I'm just, hey Jackie, just kind of creating as we go. Thank you, that's really sweet. But it is true, it is custom. Kind of go with it. Thank you. That means a lot. Hey Jackie. All right. I know, this would be a great Father's Day present for anyone, you know, who has a dad that likes to fish. Yeah, I'm surprised you're up, Jackie. Oh, look at that. I really like it. I'm kind of thinking I just want to keep the grass like kind of around the fish even. And not a whole ton of it because I don't know that I want it on that side of it. What do you guys think? More grass or less grass? Leave it the way it is. I'm just going to cut these, the rest of these pipe cleaners. Oh, thank you so much, Trixie. I appreciate that. Kind of fix it up a little bit. I don't have any bobbers. That would be a great idea to add too. Yeah, I don't think I want to add too much grass because I don't want to take away too much from it. But when I was thinking about this this afternoon, I'm like, well, grass, don't, um, thank you for sharing. Don't, you know, fish like to be in the grass. And that's when I was like, I have to add 
some. Yeah, I think so too. I really like it. You just got your second. Oh my goodness. I give up, you guys. <laughs> So like I said, I'm just going to go through now and cut these um, pipe cleaners. That would be really cute, too, if I could find, like, a fisherman's hat. Yeah, that's a great idea. Either that or, like, Jack or um, Johnny said, maybe some bobbers or something, but I, I love it. I think it turned out adorable. more over here yeah if I could find like a little kids fisherman's hat to put on it that would be adorable oh my goodness I love how this thing can think <sighs> turned out Okay, can you guys see it? Let me see if I can push this up a little bit. Oh, I think it's adorable. It needs worms. That's a great idea too. Like a little worm. Okay. I know that would be adorable. I think it turned out so cute. I love the way this turned out, you guys. I love it, love it, love it. If anybody is interested, I do have a um, let me see if I can find it, a link for it. So if anybody wants it, it is in my Etsy shop. So there's the link for the fish wreath. If anybody is interested, it would make a great Father's Day gift. I know. I should I should look at that. That would be really cute. See if they have little bobbers or something. All right. I love it. Yep. Turned out cute. All right, guys, that's it for tonight. I just thought I'd make something a little different, and I love how it turned out with the grass and everything. Thanks, guys, and I will see you. Oh, I wanted to show you the signs real quick. Hold on, let me show you the new signs I got. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is stinking cute. I think I need to move that fishing pole, but oh well. That is really cute. All right, so I wanted to show you guys these signs real quick. These I just got these in, and I haven't even really had time to put them in my shop yet. So I have this one, Autism Awareness. Can you guys see that? I don't even know how this is. Okay, like right there, that one. I think I have another one that's Autism Awareness, too. Yeah, I have this one. Oh, no problem. Let me turn this light out. This one... Oh, I got more of these in because um, I was out of these in my shop. So I got more of those. I got more of these. Take time for the little things in life. Because I was out of those. More of the Be Blessed. Because I was out of those. Let's see what else I got. Oh, more of the dog signs. Some of these I have in my shop, some of them I don't. Oh, isn't that cute? Love that one. Oh, the teacher one. That's right. I ordered the teacher one because I wanted to make a teacher wreath. So I'm going to be making one of these too. So I got a couple of those. Oh, that's right. I got this sign I wanted to add. Well, we'll see if I can add the sign somewhere. I knew I'd gotten a sign and I forgot. I want to add that, maybe that. 
some different dog ones. Oh, and then guys, I can't wait to make these. They had these where you could add your own saying. So I want to do some of these. My daughter-in-law has a um, Cricut. So I thought I would try, or if anybody wants to buy these that has a Cricut. So I got that one. I got this one. I got this black one. The red chevron. The black chevron. The black with white polka dots. I love these. I'm, I'm really excited about these. Um, that black and white chevron, the purple and white chevron, which I thought would be great for like Halloween. Oh, this is black with purple and pink. But aren't these great? I just love these signs. So the signs are, um, let me see. If you want these just blank, these are going to be eight, they're all eight dollars. But if I'm going to put words on it, they're probably going to be ten. So, um, look at this one. Isn't that one great, too? Yeah, so I got these. Um, I know I did. I did do a cat lover one. I had one for a cat lover. Um, more cats, please. I know. My sister's a cat person. I'm a dog person. So if you guys are interested in any of these with lettering, um, like I said, if you want them just blank, I can sell them blank or, or for $8. Or if you want letters on words on them, I can sell them for $10. So um, I'm going to put these in my shop. I wonder if I should add this sign. What do you think? I don't know. We'll see. C, 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 C. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. And thank you for putting up with this craziness of, um, you know, this stuff not working. <laughs> so if you see one of these signs that you like and I don't get it listed in my Etsy shop, let me know and um, I'll, I'll get you the information on it. But the signs are $8 that are already made up. And then, like I said, if you want one of these that don't have anything on it, and you want like welcome or hello or something like that, um, that would be $10. So thanks for watching. I will see you guys Thursday night. Hopefully this Mevo will decide. Oh no. Um, hopefully the Mevo will decide to work on Thursday night. We'll see. Thanks guys. Have a wonderful evening. Bye.